So what you're going to need for the look is a hairbrush. And I'm just using this big petal brush. This is from this is by Conair. Um, a wide tooth comb. And this I just got from Sephora. Sorry, I kind of have a cold. Um, this is heat protectant spray. I don't have fine hair, so just kind of like cancel that out. But um, this used to be my mom's, and then she didn't like it, so she gave it to me. Um, but this is by Pantene, and this is the um, heat protectant and shine spray. Um, a clip. I just have like this old butterfly clip. Look at all those are broken off, but it still works. So a clip and. Obviously, your curling rod, and I will be using a curling rod for this. And um, so, this is like the look for the curling rod. So, um, a curling iron, I don't know if you guys, um, this is kind of like just the look for the curling rod. So, if you want to try it with a curling iron, you can, um, with the clamp still like down and winded around. But yeah, you'll kind of see how it works when we get started. So, yeah, let's just get started right now. So I took out my headband. You're going to want to take out any hair accessories and probably earrings if they're like dangly because they might get in the way. And then what I'm going to do is just take my comb and divide my hair about in half. So you're just going to want to, um, just so that it will be easier to curl it so you don't have to do it all at once. And then the curled pieces are away from the non-curled pieces and everything. This doesn't have to look perfect. And then just like I like to twist mine around and then I'll just take the butterfly clip and try to clip it. And there you go. Then once we, so we'll just have about the bottom half and I'm going to take the heat protectant spray and just spray it in my hair as evenly as possible. And you don't need too much because you don't want it to be like wet. But you want just enough so that it will be oops, <laughs> so it will be protected. Your hair will be from the heat. And by the way, I've already plugged in my curling rod and I have it set at, I know you can't really see this, but it's at 360 and the light is on by 360. So, um, and mine's just the Infinity by Conair, the curling rod. So now that my curling rod is hot, I'm just going to take it, and you might want to read over, like, the manual that comes with this for, like, for, um, like, safety tips and stuff like that. So you just want to, like, keep it away from the water, obviously. And... I'm just going to take a small section of my hair, and this is about, it. my hair is not very thick, but it's not very thin either, so this is about, it's pretty thin through, but it's about an inch and a half, two inches of hair. And then you'll just start at the top, this isn't really like a tutorial on how to use the rod, it's for the hair style, so I'm not really going to go through it step by step button just around the top and down like this. And you don't want to hold it on for very long because we're going for like a loose wave look. So you don't need to hold it on for very long. And if you do hold it on for a while and it looks too curly, you can always just pull them out. So I wasn't really counting, but I think that should be long enough. And yeah, that was pretty long. Um, not that it's like too curly or anything, but that one we can just pull out a little bit for a looser look. And obviously you'll do the same thing. And you can, um, the size of the pieces can vary like this obviously is a bigger piece, but that's okay because then it's kind of like messier. Some pieces are curlier than others. And I got this curling rod from Target. It was like $35, I think. And you can definitely get this online, too. So since this is a bigger piece, you might want to hold it on longer. And that one also is pretty curly, because, again, I'm not really counting these. 
like counting how long I have them on. But I usually do about 15 seconds in case you are curious of how about how long to hold them on. So that's just kind of a small section of it. So I finished the bottom section of my hair, and this is what it looks like. It makes my hair definitely a lot shorter, but I guess I don't mind it. So as you can see, some pieces are bigger than others. Some may be like curlier than others, but that kind of gives it the um, like messy, loose, uh, beachy effect. Then I'm going to take down the top. And once you take that down, you obviously might want to brush it. My hair is pretty gnarly today. Ooh. Okay. And don't forget to put your heat protectant in there. Alright. And then you can just kind of find pieces that you haven't done yet, or if you want to do this in a more like professional way, you can like separate them some other way, but this is easy enough. And still do the same thing, wrap it around. And let me and definitely let me know if you guys want to me to do like a review on this curling rod or like a I can do it in the same video too, like a review with like a tutorial of how to use it like step by step. Because obviously right now that's not really what I'm doing. I'm kind of showing you how to get the look. So that one's definitely clear. I'm holding these on for quite a while. But it just kind of then blends in with the one on the bottom. <laughs> I don't want this to get too long and boring, so I tried to cut out some of the clips. And some people won't really notice the difference in this and how you do this regularly. Like, they're like, that doesn't even work loose at all. What are you talking about? Beachy waves, whatever. But, um, definitely some people make this look really curly and, I don't know, I don't really like that look. So I think this definitely is a more natural look. Especially because, as you can tell, I pull them out quite often. And maybe if that's not the look you're going for, then you don't need to pull them out, but that's just kind of what I do. Obviously, I don't really care what I look like right now because my hair is like in my face and the cords like drag it across my eyes. But, you know. Alright. So, then my bang pieces I always like to hold back so they kind of like come on my face when I take it down. See them? They're like back. And you take it down, and then you can pull those out, and obviously same thing on the other side. So here is the finished look. Obviously you can do different things you want with it. You can pull pieces back, style it differently, whatever, headbands, whatever. But um, this is just kind of like the finished curly look, a little bit in the back, so it's not all pulled to the front, but it's not all behind um, my shoulders, because then you can't really see it, but that is what it looks like. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely, you, this, there's no really right or wrong way to do your hair with this curling rod. I really like this curling rod. Um, just don't forget to turn it off and unplug it, because you don't want to like start a fire. But, um, again, there's definitely not a right or wrong way you can play around with it. Let me know what you guys think, and definitely leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. So, I'll talk to you all soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.